Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add drop-downs to text boxes in HTML5. This video was inspired by a blog post by Helge Sverre, which is available at the URL shown here. If you need to add a drop-down to a text box, you can now do it using an HTML5 data list rather than having to rely on JavaScript or a jQuery plugin. Here's how. The data list element creates a list of drop-down choices, which are defined using option elements within the data list. To bind a data list to an input field, use the list attribute in the input field to specify the ID of the data list element you want to bind it to. As you can see, the way you specify values in a data list is similar to how you would populate a select input, except that you can choose to only have a single option tag with a value attribute, rather than a pair of opening and closing tags. If you do choose to use content between the beginning and ending tags in an option element, the content between the beginning and ending tags will be right aligned, like this. To dynamically add items into a data list, you can use some simple JavaScript to append option elements within the data list, like this. You can also dynamically add data into a data list from an online resource. Here's an example that displays a list of subreddits from reddit.com using the public reddit JSON file at reddit.com slash subreddits.json. First we fetch the JSON file from reddit.com. Then we use a function called addListEntry to add options to the data list. Here's the result. Data lists are partially supported in Internet Explorer 10 and later, in Firefox 4 and later, and in Chrome version 20 and later. You can find out more detailed information on browser support at caniuse.com. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Helge for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web development.